Hello everybody and welcome on board this 2005 Sea Line S34 for a look around her cockpit in virtual reality. So what does that mean to you? Well that means that you can click and drag or swipe and drag your screen up, down, left or right whenever you like. You don't have to look where I'm looking and that means that hopefully you will be able to feel what it's like to be on this boat before you actually come and see her. How cool is that? Now some people are sensitive to the camera movement so if I move the camera I will let you know first so you can move your eyes and then once the camera is safely back down I will let you know and you can come back to me to continue the tour but let's hope that doesn't happen. So how am I feeling? Well look around us I'm feeling like I'm on a lovely modern sports cruiser and I'm feeling really rather special I'm feeling like I'm place of entertainment, relaxation, enjoyment and possibly high speed thrills as well. Which at the moment we're berthed alongside and I've got an opportunity to show you around the cockpit and what there is everywhere and uh, just to give you an idea of what it's like. So here we go. So as you can see around us we've got plenty of space, plenty of air flowing through which is lovely. This particular boat is having uh, some new covers made, they'll be here soon. We've got a bimini over us at the moment though which is lovely, it's keeping the sun off and on not too hot. We've got the radar arch above us with recessed lighting in there as well and if we just uh, pull back these two punches here that gives us a small locker which uh, we can put more stuff into as well and then on top of the radar arch we've, we've obviously got the various antennae the radar the tv aerial etc etc built into it also we've got uh, two nice stereo speakers so we've got sound everywhere on this boat up here and down below which is lovely um, and just if we look at the stern you can see it's all given to seating table enjoyment and access and egress to the boat so let's look at the access very nice little companion way it's a hop up from the big swim platform which you'll see elsewhere in our information and uh, it's just a simple operation to open up there we go she's open and there she's closed again so once she's closed hopefully that will keep most of the children and the the small dogs on board but who knows very practical to get around on this boat there are little handles everywhere so as you can see we've got a handle here one here on the outside so clambering up onto the side deck is really nice and easy we can take this cushion away and we've got access there straight over and along this got this handrail carries on all the way down the side of the uh, the cockpit very nice put the seat back on there we've got a nice auxiliary seat in the corner how good is that we've got a build pump access here we've got the gas locker down here there's room for two bottles in there you can probably squeeze a, squeeze a third um, spare in there actually but uh, it's away from the accommodation which is good and looks nice and robust up here on the starboard side again we've got a handle there and a handle there if we want to step up and get around onto the starboard deck but uh, other than that we've got uh, c-shaped seating here with storage beneath us and the one up the the uh left hand side one here lifts up to allow access to the electrical breakers and if we take away the table just uh, lift it up lift the uprights up place it somewhere safe then we've got single-handed nice gas strut operation down to the engine room we've got two Volvo Penta CAD 32s down there looking very nice and actually there's a lot of room down there everything is in its place and there's plenty of room for the engineers and I think your marine engineer would thank you and I know that because I want to I'm quite happy to be working down there if I was back to my old life but uh, yeah feeling very nice up here we've got nice uh, teak decking here we've got nice white upholstery nice white gel coat everywhere just feels rather good up here I like it a lot so let's pick the camera up and we'll uh, magically transform you to the helm area so there we go so now you're looking um, to our left here we've got a nice long berth here and here we can recline if we if we would like to do that or we can lie down whichever or we can have a, a row of people sitting here applauding the helm for his or her driving if you just look up under here it's a really nice feature there's a hatch here which will allow um, escape from the after cabin if you want to or if you just took this off overnight open the hatch that would give you more ventilation down there should it be really really warm like it is today but um, yeah other than that you've got a nice bench seat there for the helm here you've got uh, this is just to raise the helm up there we've got uh, a nice bench seat here for two people uh, not, not three so two I would say um, and we've got a really nice uh, helm console here which if I just move my position here I've got the, the steering wheel right in front of me really nice and easy to hand I've got the VHF here again nice and easy to hand which is really good and the throttles on my starboard side with the, the tilt and trim controls there very nice indeed we've got a radar display we've got speed we've got depth we've got our electrics panel here compass in front of me and uh, also, also bow thruster operation and I can see the angle of the 
drive from there on a, on a rudder angle indicator. Always a bit of a mouthful that one. But uh, yeah, all in front of me, I can get to it all, I can touch it, I can do whatever I need to do, and I can also talk to somebody there. I can also, I've got direct line of access to the person making the cups of tea down in the galley there as well, or making me a big tea sandwich. So uh, basically I can talk to anyone on, on this boat anywhere really. Um, looking forwards a little bit you can see we've got a, a small navigation station. Perhaps uh, these things are slowly falling out of use a little bit as we all go over to electronic charts but it's there. Always good to have a backup ready to go like this uh, this owner has which is great. Well done owner. And then in front of that we've got the main fascia with the engine or mostly engine gauges apart from the the two left hand most which are the uh, tank contents the second left hand most which are the uh, batteries and then we've got uh, engine pressure engine temperature etc the two engine tacos with engine hours and warnings and uh, our uh, bow up bow down bits and pieces there so uh, yeah very nice and although that's quite a long way away i can still see it quite easily no problem at all Carrying on around here to the uh, the midship section, not a great deal to say other than that we've got a very nice and easy to traverse companionway. I've got a handle here, I've got a handle down there if I want it. It's a single handed operation to close, there we go, once it's closed it all looks very smart and secure and private. And once it's open it's at right out of the way, it's not swinging back or taking up any space in the cockpit, it's just out of the way, out of sight, out of mind, which we really really like. On the left hand side here, to the left of the guard, the grab rail, you can see we've got a small fiddled uh, shelf here, so uh, not probably not much use for keeping things in place at sea uh, with any any kind of waves, but uh, alongside great few glasses of wine, cocktails, champagne, etc., etc. Now, uh, finally, just to mention the view, uh, once you're sitting here, you've got a really good view through the windscreen, through the sides here, a little bit of obstruction where the radar arches, but uh, when the new uh, at, the, at the moment, we've got a great view from astern, although we will have covers in place on this boat, hopefully they'll have nice big windows on them, but uh, for, for the Rule 5 of coal regs, keeping a lookout, I think this boat is reasonably well served and uh, should be able to be driven in relatively safe conditions. So, this has been Tim from Boche Drop Broker taking you for a tour around the cockpit of the Sea Lion S34 from 2005. Hope you've enjoyed the tour, hope you've got an idea of what it's like to be here without actually being here. More than that, I'm just glad you came along. Thanks for watching, see you again soon, take care.